framed it. Call on the CT side, Apex on the attack. Jewel Beretta's for Liege with the Kevlar. He's been set up quite nicely. JT, a little bit of util, and they'll be hearing these steps gallivanting quite quickly. This is going to be a biff. Oh, yeah, Palzak starting strong. Jacob, the first bullet out of the P2K of the Norwegian, and it's good. Zatsanito responds with a double of his own design. Elige and Grim gone. JT takes another with him. A big headshot back as JT has managed to, in combination with the Halzerk second, take the advantage in this pistol. Mark's got the bomb and has cancelled his progression. And now he's going to try and mind game his way into this pistol round. Well, we spoke about him being uh, pretty proficient in the clutch yesterday. That impact against Big in a 5-on-3 number disadvantage. Managed to uh, put Apex in a position to steal the map away. The bomb will get planted, so this is already a win. There's no defuse kit. Hauserk has already had some confidence shooting on the P2K. Audible now to Nork. Floppy. Considering his options now, Nork is really running out of ho health and hope. He had an opportunity there. He did. But it doesn't quite find that first elimination he needed. And there is the pistol going the way of complexity. They really have to thank Halzak and JT. Yeah, and I think you'd be somewhat frustrated if you're a liege because you're set up to swing to take that fight with the dual Berettas and Sassanito. We're going to say his name an awful lot. He just removed multiple domes. He was uh, fantastic yesterday at, uh, well, as Mitha was saying just there in the interview, you know, he was saying, I'm going to make a play. Uh, Sassanito was able to make some big plays in their victory. But it is kind of a crazy story for Apex. Start the tournament with 0-13 scoreline against Spirit, which is the talk of the town, currently taking on Na'Vi in a best of three. That's uh, going to be heading to its third map if everybody wants to tune in. Then go up against Furia, which, well, they were the team who had these big advantages and dropped the ball. And then up against Big, they had to come back time and time again. Ooh, it's not up with the force. And Hauser again with an opener this time. Silence them four through yellow. Jacob down. More damage done. This one is starting to sting for Apex. Yeah, what a dream start it's been for Hauser containing that scaffolding side. And Steeko, he gets a warning shot across the bow. 50 HP from Floppy as he looks to punish the Eagle spam. You can see the type of purchases Complexity have gone for here, that they were well aware with the plant that Galil is likely to come out and need firepower of their own. And Hauser, this is great. When he has his ties, it's amazing to watch. He can really set the tempo and tone when he's feeling the game. Sense. Traded. Hauser with another. And if this is how he means to go on, that's going to be extremely exciting for the series. Yeah, Jacob talking and decides to go ahead and return to his winning ways. Yeah, I mean, we've but, seen Halzak take over before. That's, that's the problem, is somebody like Halzak and maybe even other names within this team, we just need more consistency mm. because the highs are there and that's very exciting. That's how we want them to function. But the lows, when they're tilting, because Halzak is someone who we know loves a good desk punch, this team can look like big yesterday. Yeah. Sliding oh. off the edge of planet Earth. It's too early to be bringing that one back up, Chad. Oh, you and I, I think, just had a mild bout of depression last night. Uh, I was to go sit in bed for hours staring at the ceiling. Can't imagine what that must feel like for Big Clan. And Apex, I mean, for them, you know, just as you've highlighted on the other side of that very same coin. I mean, I'm not sure they were expecting to show up with sense and to be finding themselves in the groups. He's even had some big impact. He did. Oh, well, they're not opting. No plant? Bomb down. No, we're unable to plant. So that is going to be a tough one to swallow going into round number three. Might be a few light upgrades here, some deagles, maybe tech nines. Next round, we'll have plenty of loss bonus. 2,900 to be exact, but great openers from Hauser. Could impact to deal with this force by these can be quite deadly rounds, but stalled out with ease. Let's see what type of opening once we get into gun round number one that Complexity want to opt with to stall out this A ramp progression. Is there a way we can see which crosshair Halzerk's using it? Because I know we had an, a real abomination. You and, I, you and I can. Yeah? So we need to go and fit it with some of our settings. Well, I mean, if you wouldn't mind during this eco doing some investigation, because I don't know how to be technologically capable of doing that. I need to get, I need to, get yeah. to the settings. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. But neither will this round for uh, the Apex boys. There's Tatsunito cut down. Elise just hand managed to catch his uh, attempt out mid. Now, a bomb would certainly give them flush with util, but it's not going to be easy to be getting down. You've got to find these picks into the site first. And Floppy's having none of it. Just a comfortable one from the double stack. Elise peeks on out to collect one of his own. That's the bomb now loose. And it's grim. Comfortable on mid. Do you remember the command to turn off Rushley's lovely HUD? Oh, I've got it on the um, message from Hugo. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, because I'll, uh, we have Alt-R to refresh. We have N to 
flip flop the names around. And there was one more to remove the HUD so I can actually take a look at some of the settings Let's here. Let's have a look. It is. Satiate your needs of Housework's Crosshair. I'm so intrigued. Yeah. Um, you can't turn it off. No, there was a way. Oh, sorry. Uh, Alt O. Alt O. That's not working. It's got some Intel performance thing. Okay. Up here. Well, you know what? We'll we come tried. back to it. We, we, did, we did try, and try. I appreciate you trying, chat, because uh, we, it, for those who weren't aware, yeah, Halzerk's one of those 4x3 uh, letterbox type gamers. It looks like he's playing on a CRT monitor. All right, Yellow Smoke and Molly combo. That's going to stall out the initial A ramp progression. A, l a Lurk Smoke from Apex up the ramp as well. So just keeping each other honest, a big part of a ramp on Vertigo is these different combinations. But B lobby control has been garnered and floppy. This time we'll be starting towards quad. Hey, Cheese. Softening up his towards the white box. Molly towards wood. So just clearing out any up close and personal positions. As Stiko will take an aid on his dome. So the back and forth of the utility early. But JT starting to get frisky, Alex. He's going to find a fight. Yeah, more than a fight. He's going to get a bullet between the eyes. It's worked out wonderfully, though, with Halzerk and Floppy both posting a frag in unison. He does need to delay here. Oh, and with his knife out, Satsunito catches a glimpse, but not the frag. Onto Grim crossing back to the Ellie. Elijah's push so deep. Let's cut them off. They will have to finish towards A, so that will be contained by Elijah's aggression. Oh, he's even found Satsunito. So they know what's coming now, Apex. They're boxed in. Oh, it feels hopeless for Norkin Sense now. A boost erected. Uh, headshot not quite provided, but the bullets do find their mark. It's Grim gone. 30 seconds for Nork to make this one work. 20 HP, a single bullet, a stray one through the smoke, and he knows that there's a bit of an Elyse hunt coming from behind with the loss of Tatsunito. Bomb plant. Unlikely to be going in. He fakes it out, hoping to catch them as they look to punish. And, well, he does isolate a duel, but unable to find that headshot. All right, well, uh, yet to die. Both Halzerk and Floppy off to great guns. Eight for Halzerk, five for Floppy, and a tactical timeout. Mitha now on the mic. 30 seconds to discuss what's gone wrong and what could go right. And I like that into the gun round. So they were aggressive A ramp and B lobby. They actually had three players over towards B as a bit of a trap to deal with that aggression. Alige was then allowed to push. I think Halzerk's kill on the ramp after JT went down was the most integral because it slowed them down from just being able to run in towards that A site after the B push, and then Alige closing the door behind them. So a very solid start from Complexity on map number one. Sitting pretty, residual cash, and Apex with the loss bonus maxed out will be taking some liberties with their investment. A few Galils, Tech 9, and this is where you want something uh, a bit uh, poppy, you know, a pocket strat. Because you're not going to have all the goodies. You won't have all the utils, so you need to be very efficient with what ah. you've invested. He's, he's actually completely mixed it up. He's, on, he's joined the dot lifestyle. Ah, he's a fuzzy tennis ball. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to our ops team getting us answers. And JT's gotten a frag and away. Trying to turn the heat up on that ramp position. JT doesn't shy away from the opening engagement. They will recede now. Leash housekeeping middle, make sure that no one's slipping out. And so far, yeah, they are just committed towards this ramp site, starting to maneuver backwards now. Floppy responsible for this B site. Steeko just having a little looky loo. Nades wise, it's just a single smoke, so they're going to try every trick they've got. A little boost hit, they're going to get Nork up. Floppy does have to worry about this because he doesn't have anybody to watch off. Like, this B lobby, it feels like there should just be one angle that you need to worry about, but the boost, either wood side or on the rail, as well as the stairs. And Floppy playing behind the tall box, an absolute banger. Handles that one with grace. Good stuff from Floppy. It's a difficult side to anchor. Collar playing some fundamentally sound Counter Strike right now. He even gets another. This is great work. Really good Counter Strike like so far. Yeah, you can see the absence of options for Apex. It's become a bit of a recurring theme for these few rounds. That's Anito gone. Can they keep it clean? It's spotless. A bit of damage, but Apex still on the goose egg. I think one of the keys to note here with complexity is in a lot of these rounds, they've been making moves to set the tone. Mm. You think about the pistol round, they had a bunch over towards A and they were ready to pounce forward and take that fight off of the steps. Yeah, on the first gun round, that's where JT pushed down the ramp, but they also had the pincer maneuver over towards B. And that was the only round where Complexity have given up the opening pick is when they were going aggressive, but still capitalized off, top, off the top of that play. So that's beautiful work. No T-side AWP out for Nork as they're going to send quite a few bodies to grab this B lobby control. 
Stika will be across, has multiple members of support. Nork with flashes, but he's just going to lurk on through, and Alish will spot that out. Now, do they have a move where they can molly forward, smoke the stairs, try and flush this out, or will they just wait and allow Apex to make the move? Well, that molly's quite telling. They throw their own. The pop's coming, oh. and Floppy stops them at the door. Yeah, that could have been two. Jacob very, very battered and like bruised. They're committed, Alex. They are charging up the stairs now. Alicia smoke means nothing. He's calling for backup. Grim has arrived on the scene. Keep your eyes on Sassanito. He's keeping the options open towards A. Good float back. It's Sen's trying to sell the commitment. JT's maybe not ready for the Tatsunito arrival on A. Still now they scurry all the way across the map. And Tatsunito's got to find a right position and for him. And that smoke, that's beautiful. By locking off Elevator, it limits their options and it should facilitate a full plant and a three versus three. Fuse kit's present. Don't have to rush this. And a re-smoke on Elevator. This is going to really grind the gears of Carl. Looks like Apex could very well, off the back of the Tatsunito push, be converting there first here on the T side. Walking the smoke, that's what Nork's pre-aiming. Elish confirms it. There is still time for this, but are they interested? The answer seems to be no. Two AK-47s, and they're not feeling particularly lucky on the retake. Yeah, difficult retake. And Sassanito, yesterday I think the terminology I used to describe some of his plays was wormy. Right? He's getting yeah. under your skin while he puts you six feet under. And he does it again. He keeps the options open because I said that felt like a full commitment. They're committed to this. They'd used all their Utu, and they had. And it had forced that rotation, which opened it off for Sassanito. And that kill that he gets onto JT, coming back, understanding that that full commitment hasn't actually followed through towards B just yet, essentially winning them the round. So impacts right there as Apex get on the board with their first. Yeah, and I mean, as you perfectly highlighted, the scavenge smoke and drop was probably the difference maker. You know, Carl are much more likely to be giving that a go. That plant's going to be a whole lot more difficult if it wasn't for that 20 seconds of time bought by the uh, scavenge JT smoke. So there's the first. Apex on the board. Well, with that save, you can see Complexity are playing the long game. Still with a bunch of residual cash. Halzo will bring out the AWP. But now they need to be very aware of these type of lurks throughout. We know Sassanito can do it over towards A. Middle, we saw it to great effect yesterday against Big, and this time round, well, that's exactly where he is. Might even get himself a head-to-head -head against the likes of Grim, who's just backpedaled over towards the elevator room. 2-1-2 two, two, split of the defenses. But, uh, the best flash in the world there from Grim went behind the box. Still gave him enough to be able to go for a peek, but stifled in the middle, and all right, they will deal with Sassanito, the hero of the last, down. Yeah, Halzerk, he's fired off a warning shot. Oh, and they clear the smoke. Find the ore part. JT very stubborn on this forward position. Slipping into short. Jacob trying to be the difference maker. Is Grim capable? Yes, he is. Lingers in the off angle. Jacob unprepared for it. Four versus two as Complexity look to be returning straight back to their winning ways. An overextension, perhaps. Grim, he goes down. And now with the B site open, Stiko's caught the B. Defender, the bomb's on A. This gets uncomfortable for Elysian JT. Anticipating the potential for CT. Window deleted. Great mechanics out of a legion onto the head. Looking for the plant, Nork. He's got space. He's got the code punched. Extends the clock. Maneuvering away and finds the first of the two. Clean jewels. A leash peeking in. Nork threatening. It's an even battle now. First one to pull the trigger and tracks him nicely. Nort clutches up for Apex. Oh, two rounds back to back, and I think that's frustrating. Didn't really play that one together. I think JT didn't want to lose him, allow him to get away, but by doing so, gave him the one-on-one. -on -one. And then Elise is left to scamper to try and take that fight. Do I let him get away? And then he can play between short slash Ivy and the ramp and then toy with me. So misplayed from complexity. And again, it was through a gap. This time it was Stiko through middle who caused the chaos. There was the pressure towards A, the back and forth trades, an important one there from Nork Shaw, but Stiko up and over construction. That's a big kill because look, it's drawn them away from the A side. That's allowed Nork in to get the bomb down, which has then set him up for this one on two situation. And since, well, we saw him make an awful lot of noise yesterday. Didn't necessarily have the best start to Ancient, the third and final map. I think he had one kill in the first half, but then he had a clutch in the second half and having an in-game lead, such a young age. He did find his impact the same as Stiko. Yeah, interesting quotes as well from Stiko talking about how that 13 was a gift in disguise, having a rather intense and kind of putting all of their cards on the table in regards to what they're expecting from an in-game leader. 
Not the kind of conversation you want to be having in the middle of a tournament, but... Uh, uh, not particularly. Had none this nonetheless. Elige. Ooh, that was yeah. Heard. That was a revealing sound cue. Sense has punished Elige's forward position on towards the B site. How's out scoping towards the ramp side? Complexity off kill tap. Operating at a man disadvantage. Uh, that's only the second time Apex have been able to find the opening pick, and I believe both times it's come through Sense. So let's see if they can capitalize on it this time round. Where on the map would you even want to aggress if your complexity? You would just push down B lobby. You lost that jaunt. You have Halzok posted in middle with the AWP. JT playing more retake on the A bomb side, and Apex allowing the clock to do a lot of the work for them. Now starting to set their sights on B. Floppy has to move. Swung into the open, but still grabs one. And if he gets away, that's a good oh, job. Wow, respect. In Molly out his position, he leaves with a frag and his life. It just feels like they're everywhere. Look at the space Jacob's taken this time round. Yeah, it was, looks like Halzak was holding. Oh. Yeah, we will banish to stop the rot. It's like they're just attacking both sites simultaneously. Sassanido coming over Con. Oh, it's beautiful. Grim holding on. So much to do. And so little time for the plant. Sense goes wide. That's a bit of an overstep. It's been punished by Grim. A high impact round in the rotation. It's Halzerk to put the cherry on top. And yeah, felt like uh, they have complexity's number in terms of pulling rotations, but not quite in that final execution. The map must feel very small for complexity. For real. Yeah, they're not able to really hold on to any territory. And it's not to say for lack of trying. They started that round by trying to hold control of the B lobby. It was just spammed through the smoke. But this was the trade from Halzerk. Jacob must hit a bit of a banger there on JT. And then Sassanito, uh, again, so uh, the map being small, they're coming from every orifice, pushing B, pushing A, lurking out mid on these really annoying timings. And those are the really frustrating deaths because you're complacent. You're like, we don't have anything. We don't have any space. We don't have any information. But you still got the round. Six to two, four round gap, and Apex humbled. This has got to be punished eventually, right? JT is so stubborn about taking this elevated angle over that ramp smoke. He's fired off some pot shots here. This time they do have space. Floppy's pushed down B with the oversight of Halzerk's AWP. Nork having to worry about an awful lot, but Sense is up close. <gasps> oh, Grim manages to get two, and Sense not quite the triple he dreamed of. It could have changed everything. Instead, Nork's disconnected from the pack, and that territory's lost. Now, Bomb at least retrieved. Is there a rifle? There is one up, but he'd have to find a liege before that gets interesting. Yeah, and obviously the difference to them having the space in a round like this is the lack of utility and weaponry for Apex, with this being a hodgepodge investment. Opportunity? Yeah, definitely so. Not giving off those dead inside vibes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like uh, some sort of face at home. <laughs> uh, D underscore pression, everyone's favorite <laughs> map. Oh, Counter-Strike, yeah, some high highs and some low lows. But you can either you can be like me, you know, you're losing your absolute mind, or you can be like Nork, you just allow it to rattle around in your brain. Yeah, just staring, thousand stare. yards staring. <laughs> Let's go, round 10. The opening round of the Kandavitsa group stage. Still only two opening picks to boast for Apex in the first nine rounds of play, so complexity of and a great job in winning out the opening exchanges on the CT side. Nice little bait and switch setup. Has a hold in the line. The Liege boost on the box are keeping things quite diverse. As rifling through their utility, this Grim and JT hold on A. Just to stall out any progression, but Apex are happy to sit back, just spam. And once the smoke starts to fade now, they can apply the pressure of their own. Last thing you want to do is get spammed through by Silence Step 4s. Oh, he's going to force it. JT. He sticks around and yeah, he needs to two on the entry into ramp. Full space for an exec now. Steeko still lingers towards the B stairs. Elise trying to delay. They aren't up on the site yet, but it's... Ooh, I'm only a moment of time. Look at that. A flash and a swing. Jacob doubles up. And the site is theirs. The round to follow. Just the one man noted on B. Going to try and maintain this AK-47 into the next. You can see Grim could really use a little bit of assistance into the next. Zero dollars in his bank account. 
If they were to break through, Alex, and find five at the half, considering how dominant this has felt for complexity out the gates, I, I really think Apex would be more than happy with that. When you when you look at the scores, you'd expect it to be yeah, a very much one-way street. You got two deaths on Halzek, like 11 kills. You got 10-3 on Floppy, 8-4 on Elise. Like it, would, it reads as if a team have just completely dominated a half. But yeah, if, if Apex keep this up, it could be one hell of a recovery. You think of two of the three rounds as floppy. Will he survive? They're just above, making plenty of noise. And he gets to retain that AK. Important. But, uh, yeah, you think of the... They, they saved on a three-on-three. Three. That was where Sassanir Toad walked it through. Then you had the Nork clutch after yeah. that. So these are rounds where individuals needed to pull off some quite heroic moments. And that's the best round for Apex so far to win as a team. So this is uh, using patience. And then when the fights came their way, able to capitalize some great shooting. It's all Jacob. High impact round from him, puts himself on a comfortable frag total. Five, majority of which were in that round. Sense is oh, going. JT, perfect flash. pop flash from Satsunito. Sets his there IGL is. up for an opening and look how quickly he slipped up gap, he's up short. Might be a save. How are you meant to get back into this round if you complexity? A man down, out of position, Ooh. about to be overwhelmed. Yeah, that smoke already indicates that the site is lost. Going for the boost, you need to be careful with this. Smokes are deep enough. It's only really giving you info on peaks onto sandbags. You could try some speculative shots. Bomb's coming on Stiko. A little bit late to the party, but they still have more smokes. Oh, it's going to stick up. Yeah, Jake and maybe an overextension. Bomb's still going down. And oh, that one leaves a mark. A HE between the two of them, Grim and Halzerg. Our position from Nork for the post. Yeah, and you can really see he's demonstrating the power of it. And there's the save. Wow, another success into the A site. These are, these ramp players are starting to get rumbled. It was Elysian and JT this time that were felled, and it was that pop flash from Satsunito. Oh, beautiful. And you could see the intent of Sense as well by extinguishing, understanding the defense they're setting up. I think the most unfortunate factor for complexity there was they were doing a 2-2-1, and well, the one being the weakest site where Apex decided to charge on down. So great little pace change. The previous round, it was slow. Right, it was waiting out utility. This time they changed the gear completely. So a nice little mix up from Apex to grab them the fourth. And now we have back to back rounds with the opening picks. So they've, you know, really started to get back in that conversation. We don't need to highlight that as much because, uh, well, it's starting to level out in that regard. And here it is again. Sense through, extinguish, straight up, back turn, flash, bang, JT down. And the site is theirs. Final round, first half. MP9 for JT, a lesion to a Famous, and the save rifles to see if Complexity can salvage a little bit of confidence before that halftime break. Wow, that's an opening. JT, very quickly cut down by Nork. He was just pre-aiming that. Well, you asked if he was going to get punished playing there in that frame position. It happens. Oh, I like this double up in mid. Satsunito does too, though. He takes a liege out on the retreat. Oh, this could be a timing window for Stiko. He isn't going to let go of W. He is moving. He is moving. Shifting, admittedly, but moving. A double lurk. Yeah. You think you've kind of solved that mystery. Grim's not going to be ready for this next time he pokes his head out. Oh, oh, oh. he is. He adjusts just in time. Now he can focus his attention on this A site. This can't be a fumble. It won't be. Jacob, a nice angle adopted. Catches Grim completely unawares, and it's up to Floppy. Last round of the half. He's going to give it a good go. One versus three, though, and a really recovered half from Apex. Looked like Complexity were running away with this one, but that is a recovered half. Got to be happy with that one. Sense certainly looks like he is just getting things started here at Group A of the groups of Katowice. Stay tuned.
A very good evening to you all. We're just heading over to about 8 p.m. local. We're live from Katowice, Poland, as we bring you all of the action. Play-ins concluded in the first day, deep underway for I Am Katowice Group Stage 2024. I'm Machine, I'm joined by Chaddy B, and we're heading into that second pistol of our first map between Apex and Complexity. It looked like it was all going one way and one way fast for Complexity in that 5-0 start, but really turning it around Apex leaving it with five of their own. I think both teams would be content with how the first half unfolded. Complexity may be thinking they let go of that stranglehold, but they might have picked the correct bombsite to hit. It is just Stiko with one kill to his name to lock things down. The rest of his team is elsewhere. Yeah, and it's always a bit suspicious when you've spotted multiple and then it all goes quiet again. Floppy took a pot shot at Stiko, and you can oh. see they are activating. This could go horribly wrong if they don't hurry up into the B site. And wow, Stiko does get one full blind, but they are starting to barrage in. Halzak onto Tatsunito, puts Cobble with a leg up. Here comes the Nork flank. Maybe it's a bit earlier than Halzak's expecting. Oh, he's having a glance, and he's had a bullet between the eyes. Could be more from Nork, sends one one. JT finds him on the flank. All onto Jacob. Heard the reload, knows where Elige is. It doesn't matter when he's hitting shots like that. A triple from the superstar. I'm pissed off for Cole. Uh, maybe take a timeout now and just have a quick chat. These guys keep doing these cheeky double lurks, even on the CT flank. Sassanito goes down. I'm, I was staying on Hauser's POV. He gets it with ease. He's like, okay, nobody swung out for a trade. It's all right. That, that should be it, right? right? I, can, I can join the rest of my team, sure. And then Nort comes around behind and trades him out. If they end up losing that round, Hauser would have felt that he didn't do his job properly. But... Uh, yeah, I would have been lulled into the same false sense of security. Well, this is uh, very interesting. We've got a scout on sense, and he's done a whole lot of work right there. Elisha's game this round is uncomfortable. Uh, JT, where are you? I need to trade guns. Yeah, come hither. Please. Elish, come on, mate. He's right there. Yeah, you're not holding on to that, are you, Ellie Giggle? Yeah, have The enough. round's been cancelled by that scout. Come on now, John. Yep, Bogdan. No. No, no not that. I said, uh, I said I AK. Said AK, not Nade. Give me. Surely. Like, I'd be. Uh, they would be surprised. Right, gentlemen. It's not in your interest here. If you get shredded right now, by this MP9. A single bullet from it would do it. A HE. Anything. Gentlemen. A stiff breeze. Yeah, it doesn't matter. at the back of the pack. Okay. And they're across, and he goes so wide. Deco just maybe misreading the the speed by which they were into the site there. JT using that MAC-10 up close. Grim has been brought low. This is still hanging on by a thread. Jacob does well to bring down JT. Look at Grim. Look at Elige. More scout shots here. A couple of pistols, maybe, but they're already starting to maneuver elsewhere. Nork worried about mid. Yeah, for that save. Nine already for Cole. So, yeah, dream start in both halves so far. That was a moment. It definitely got quite chaotic, especially with the initial scout tag onto Elige, who does return. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Spawn. There you go. Bullet from above. Sassanito will remove him of his life. I'll be having that. Oh, maybe he won't. Floppy, the whole squad trying to defend that AK-47. And there's the more. Hold on. nork has got another on to Halzog. They're making this costly. And that's one hell of a way to find a bit of potency in an otherwise lost round. Yeah, see if they can double up with that type of effectiveness. Now, they're uh, clearly not going to have as juicy of a, a buy apex. And the same to be said for complexity. We'll have some Galils. They do have AKs, namely. But if they get chopped on down again, you don't want to be giving away more than you know one to two kills in this next round, considering just this scout. Oh, they've actually upgraded. So they don't have the Kevlar behind it. We have a saved eagle, a saved scout, and then a few more investments. So for your complexity, Keep as many alive as you can. Great start. Sassanito searching on his lonesome. You know, when it works, it looks great. When you get felled within the first 15 seconds, your team operating at a number disadvantage on an already disadvantageous scenario. So complexity should be able to just group up. They have a lot of A-Ram control early. Use their utility quite proficiently. You can see them doing exactly that, clearing out close short, forcing them to either commit to that fight or play back. Now they can set up the smokes to cross the site. They have even more Molotovs to lay towards headshot, etc. Should be quite a simple round for Cole. Uh, a little bit of an issue. CT drop smoke towards short, so when they clear, they'll have to swing and worry about a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, at least gives Jacob 
helping hand on that one, takes down his teammate, so that's suboptimal. And Steeko flanking, I'm sure there's... <gasps> no one watching that flank, timed him nicely, headshots hit, this could really be a disaster for complexity. It was meant to be quite easy considering all the advantages that they had. Oh man, this would be a tilter to concede. Not this story again, oh, we, we did can't it last start night. This one. Yeah, we've been here, we've done this, and, and time getting away from them now. Y your smoke's up. It has to be a plant. It's going to be... Oh, fake. Far enough a scout shot. And, and in the meantime, Jacob's going to be crawling on that flank. Sure, he's low HP, but this element of surprise, it could come back to haunt them. A, a passing glance here from Grim, it's necessary. Otherwise, that 5-7, 3 HP or otherwise, he could get one into the back of the head. Oh, my goodness. It has to be Halzer. Can he save them? From red faces, good play from Halzerg, but he's gone, and complexity fumble. A real nasty one there. I'd get the timeout quick, just so you can put your brain back together again, because that is going to feel sour in the complexity camp. Apex, they're not, you know, jumping for joy, but it's a, it's a big one back. Save Scout and Deagle brought across with some upgrades behind it, and they're able to do that and with the type of buy complexity had the space they had early, the opening pick that they found. Ah, yeah, and Jacob, thinking on his toes, gets a freebie onto Grimm. How's that committed? You can see he's in two minds. Can I get away? Can I now play the bomb? But Nork will add another clutch to his tally. And a huge round for Apex, because they know how much damage they did in the previous. Now they've really humbled Cole, who did get the bomb down. They can get a decent amount of rifles in. Uh, Elish doesn't have head armor, however. So these A1Ss are going to... Rip off his dome. Yeah, they're rail guns up against him. And Nork even could bring out the sniper. Steeko, wow, he is in a lot of trouble. Hot water and down. Still standing to deliver was Jacob. Wow. There's another one here. You may not be ready for that. Nork has already managed to That's separate JT from the pack. Elish gives it a good go, spots him from that distant angle, catches the glimpse of the retreat. Oh, and he gets a glimpse of sense as well. He's out. Why not? Grim's already caught Satanito on the rotate. Nork could be susceptible. Oh, lovely Grim. Mechanically gifted. Manages to get the crosshair onto Nork's creepy, crawly, crouchy. Yeah, now senses chasing Ghost. Does he want to give this one a crack? How's that would be the first to find? And still worried about Grim lurking somewhere around middle. So the digits to be punched. Elige will oblige. How's that currently looking the wrong way? Head on a swivel. And we'll remove sense, so... Warp in mid. Yeah, uh, immediate bounce back. Grim has been able to get, scoop it up, so they will carry that through. Oh, from high highs to low lows for both of the teams. Oh, yeah, and that P250 fight with Tatsunito, with both of them, uh, magnificent work from Grim and a Listerine face from Jacob. He could have had a double up through the smoke as they were studying their entry, but the deaths were discussing how Zuck, I think Pimp even put him under the microscope as, you know, maybe the next one to be... Chopping block. Yeah, and he's having a great game. 17 kills in total for him. Three more rounds required now for Cole. And if they deal with this force by from Apex, they should be able to get themselves up to 12 with relative ease. But last time I said it should be easy, it definitely wasn't. I was going to call you out on the uh, hesitance there, but it looks like floppy. What about this time? Yeah, yeah, I think he's all right. Lightning doesn't strike twice. And he's not in the same map, right? Smoked off. Noted the presence. And the whole squad just staying in a, in a bit of a pack roll mentality. Bar Elise, you can see he's going to be dispatched to just contain deep towards ramp, ensuring any of the from Nork is contained. Now, I don't want to do any spoilers because we know our lovely viewers at home, they like to watch all the Counter-Strike. Yeah. Even though it doesn't always feel possible. Certainly. Six best of threes a day. It's You're not going to watch them all. And, and no one's expecting you to. Well, what about Pokemon with Ash Ketchup? You got to watch them all. Yeah, I can see you. Counter-Strike equivalent, I suppose. I was but, more of a uh, Digimon boy. You were? Mm. All right, well, <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> you, yeah, I was going to say, you really didn't need to be forcing the issue. He's taken the MT9 away and uh, could have lost the AK-47, but a nice one all the same. So, Na'Vi versus Spirit. Yeah, that seems to be a bit of a banger. But the reason that I, uh, I tend to this now is because whoever ends up winning that best of three series, which is currently on map number three, 
brought to you by Harry and Hugo. I think Yanko was in their casting with them for some moments in time. They're currently playing on Mirage. That is uh, on the mainstream. But uh, if you want to have it over to face it, uh, is it dot com slash watch? I believe that's correct. Yeah, you can just watch people's pops, so you can all just watch Donk. Yeah, I was doing that today. Yeah, just watch really Donk. Really good. But uh, yeah, whoever wins that matchup will take on the winner of this one. And the reason that's important is because when those two teams lock on, whoever wins out of that game puts themselves in the upper bracket final for this group and also in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds easy when you say it, it like does. that. It does. Win two and you're through from the upper bracket, right? As soon as you start the group stage of Katowice, same as Cologne, you win your two opening best of threes and you're locked in for the playoffs. We only have six teams in the playoffs. We've got a Friday with two quarterfinals. Sounds funny. It is. Uh, Saturday with two semifinals and then Sunday with a best of five grand final. Yo, five. So complexity, we're in the driver's seat. They pick this one up, they move over to their map choice. Overpass. They can pick it up 2-0, then they can try their luck at maybe Spirit, but maybe not. Maybe. Maybe Navi. We don't know. We'll find out. Only yeah. time will tell. Putting them through their paces. Apex know all about Team Spirit. Yes. They got donked on. 13 to 0. Second bite of the cherry, perhaps. Maybe it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it can't go much worse, can it? <laughs> yeah. Actually, imagine that. They win the pistol and they're already like... Nice boy. Yeah, we've done it. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> See what uh, this one has in store for us, I imagine. Diddly squat for Apex. Didn't choose to invest too much. Just a couple of extra incendiaries that are now exhausted. No, normally we're in events like where it's North America's last hope. This is North America's only hope. Mm. We don't even have twists or naff. No, no liquid. Bizarre, isn't it? Oh, that's drawn the rotation. 45 seconds. Be grabbing the bomb. They will be finishing towards A, so they're going into the stack. They are. That's what I was about to start getting a little concerned about. I think maybe Elysius have realized the same. He's got to get a wiggle on, and it is a bit threatening. They know where they are. Heaven and short a threat. 25. That bomb needs to get moving. Grim's already found himself some space. He's charging with Floppy on the way as well. And so with this uh, power position from Grim, it looks like there's going to be no harm, no foul. Did get a little more uncomfortable than it needed to be, though. Starts planning with eight seconds to spare. That's more than enough time as Halzak pivots into Nork. And there you have it, 12. As we will get to see Apex attempt to defend their honor. It's just felt this second half has gone by in the blink of an eye. Not too many gun round attempts from Apex. The round that they won was, uh, well, with some upgraded pistols, a save scout, and a deagle. Gun rounds is where they need to do the talking, however. And they will get that opportunity. So here we go. Apex, can you put six on the trot to take us to overtime on your map choice? Or will Complexity maybe be stopping this de downward trend for now with a map win? This looks a bit more fast and furious. It's JT just swinging into the site. Welcome, Satsunito. Let's take that duel. Now, Nork, he at least managed to trade the engagement. It sends his turn up next. They know where the AWPA is. And no need, to, with all of this space, to hurry things up. And he's feeling a lot of pressure, right? Looking for answers as the leash just slinks and slips behind the sandbags. They don't seem hugely aware that that's a possibility. They could actually rescind from the ramp, allow a leash to stay. If Apex clear forward, a leash will get the jump on them. That seems to be exactly the game plan, but oh, a big frag from Steeko caught. And yeah, Elyse down as well by Sense. So both different extremities, both working wonderfully, and this one has just fallen into place. That's Apex getting their second CT round and doing so convincingly. I think Steeko stopping that B pivot is a, a pivotal frag, if you pardon the pun. Well, Complexity trying to get things done, as you mentioned, in a fast and furious nature there. So just quick over towards A. They even were able to get that opening, but then stunted by the defense of Apex. Was JT quite quick to the draw, but a good defense. And yeah, Sense was aware of that Elyse position. And then when the round stalled out, they capitalized, won their jewels. So complexity, maybe just slow things down. Play some color by numbers, counter strike. Just go through the paces, default, call out the smokes, call out the flashes, play with the rotation, look for the picks and find yourself a finishing blow. 
Yeah, Apex, they're, they're backed up into a corner for this one. Floppy, he's actually quite brazen in just holding this, hoping he's going to catch a CT. On the B site, Nork posted mid. A boost for the Guardian fight. Ooh. Does slip off. Surely not dry. He was considering it, wasn't he? Floppy draws attention towards the B site. How's to jump up? And a lovely adjustment from Nork. Takes down his rival Orpa. Big scalp to post. Must win round. Sense is very forward with no trade potential. He's just committed to this angle. And the leash doesn't force the issue, doesn't investigate further. They do seem to be all maneuvering into B. But look what Sense's position frees up for the rest of the team. B is going to be quite heavily fortified. Seiko with Jacob and then Sassanita not too far away. Chip damage onto Seiko. He is just playing this one defensively. And it's Jacob staying active, staying oh. deadly. So good from Jacob. He can play these tough headshot angles with ease. The round's over. There's the flank again of Sense. Yeah, JT's anticipating it. Sense is going to be playing the long game. Trying to save after time would be miserable. Job done. Can Round you one. You've definitely felt like you're down in the dumps a couple of times if you're Apex. So seeing this just feel like a game that should simmer out, you need to kind of slap yourself and remember that they've looked like a team who's been on the way out the door a couple of times. And well, this isn't for elimination. This is just the opening stages of the group stage. A double elimination bracket now starts again. And if anything from yesterday's game, the belief in coming back must exist. The belief of winning three on five number disadvantage situation because Nork pops off with the AWP and the bomb gets stuck outside the doors on Ancient. You know it's possible. Don't remind me. First hack timeout. I mean, it makes Things sense. have been going very well. Yeah, I mean, they had probably no reason to be alarmed. The, these two rounds, pistols. however, yeah, th these two have been a bit more alarming in the sense that there's only been one frag from complexity over the course of those two. CTs find themselves laden with some extra bonus AKs. Where's Floppy taking this? What are you thinking, Flop Dog? Looks like he's heading over towards B, which does make sense for Floppy and his flight paths. Straight in, going to be looking for the opening. Multiple bodies to deal with. Nade, not a molly, so is able to creep in and under in towards B lobby. Stiko may set Jacob up with a flash where he can just jump on wood and peer down. Molly will come a little bit later dissuading. He jumped just then, Floppy, so I'm sure there was a sound cue heard. So Jacob aware of presence. No follow through off the flash. Just a smoke for Stiko now. And they've seen enough. So the aggression didn't come their way. Complexity went fishing. No bites. But that very, very deep smoke tells them that they may have completely foregone control of forklift room. Good of Apex to at least posture forward with the util, but not be playing behind it, knowing that likely they're not up against anything too juicy in the buy department. You don't want to be playing close to the pistols, allow them to swarm the wide swing, you lose track of the first, and then the rest will finish you off. All put range should be good for the job, 40 seconds. Yeah, he's ready himself. Oh, and it's of course the rifle of all the frags he finds. It's onto Floppy. Now it's Atsunito's turn for the double. Runs out of bullets as Elise will catch him. Good work from Nork. Good work from the Apex defense. Off you got for us, Elise. Anything at all? A single bullet will do it. And he's down. Gap is closing rapidly. Off the back of the timeout, Colt still empty handed. Majority still can afford to get themselves back into this round, though. After that pistol. Where's the leeches? Yeah, okay. He's going to have... Oh, it's to a save, right? Well. So the, the save, the no loss bonus. Yeah. Just curious, complexity. What are we going to offer up as the finisher? 
I think uh, essentially if you can just establish that ramp control, which is what I said against that low buy, then you should just be able to execute. But they've been held at the door several times. Apex is doing a good job of being quite jarring. You're on board with the leash here, right? He's got a smoke behind him. And Molly was in front of him. This is a smoke of their own design, which is now starting to fade. This head-to-head -head could be quite telling. Ooh, Sense is trying his luck. He welcomes an aggressive engagement, but yeah, he's been caught out there. Just missed playing that one on the smoke timing. Unable to get his gun out in time. So a real gift but from to, Sense. Yeah, but to finish the round, there's only one smoke available here for Cole. We've got a bunch of flashes of Molly at HE, but only one smoke to execute with and block off the choke point. So trying to stay silent in their rotations. They're dipping back, starting to head over towards B, where Floppy still worried about Wood. Norks Orbs here, and he's deadly. Yeah, I mean, if Floppy releases that crouch key, it could very well be the end of him and a nice early warning for a rotation to support Nork. He is all alone, and that frag might pull him away. Still not drawn. Yeah, sticking around. Ouch! Floppy rips his head off, and it looks like Vertigo is done. Apex's map pick and Complexity take it. Nice way to start off proceedings for the North American squad. They'll be happy with that. Two maps ahead of us could just be the one if Apex can't find the W next.